Hello darling and welcome to my channel. I'm Rhonda, the Perfume Maven, and on this channel we discover fragrance. And today we are going to get down to the nitty and gritty of the newest release from the house of John Paul Gaultier. It is from the Scandal line and it is Soul Scandal. So if you are dying to know my thoughts on this perfume, just stay tuned. Hey darlings, I am back and ready to dive right into another fragrance review. You guys, I do apologize for being gone for so long. I had a lot of things going on and I had some unfortunate events that happened in my life. And when I'm ready to share them, I will definitely fill you guys in on that. Honey, I've been sitting on this soul scandal, I would say for a little bit over a month now, and I am ready to spill the tea on this perfume. This is the newest release from the house of John Paul Cartier. It was just released this year in 2020, but it's not available yet in the United States and I don't know why and this is a little little tip or pointer if you're watching this video to the house of John Paul Gaultier. It is a problem that we cannot get our hands on these perfumes. You know how I do. I went in and I dug and dug and dug and I was able to get my hands on this bottle about a month ago. Yeah it was a little bit of a challenge but I finally got my hands on it. Now with this packaging, which I really, really do like, there is two little grooves on either side to make it easy to pull it out to open the top, which it was a problem with the other ones, but this one, <laughs> kudos, okay? Because it was a lot easier. And my goodness, we're not going to get on a label, okay? I bent the can trying to get that can open. That was ridiculous, but this new design is really good. So I did pick this up in the full bottle. This is a 80 mil. This is an Eau de Parfum. It is an oblong shape, the same shape as Scandal Eau Petit, which I have right here in front of me. So these two are literally the same size, okay? But this one is an Eau de Toilette, and this one actually is an Eau de Parfum. Thumb. And you guys, it does have pleated glass, which is very, very appealing to the eye. It's beautiful. I was like, a yes, ma'am, as soon as I put it out. In all transparency, you guys, I did actually get a sample first. I couldn't wait to try to track down a bottle, and I actually came upon a sample, so that was good. So I did smell it before I purchased the full bottle, but I still wanted to purchase it because this is what I do. I couldn't wait to get my claws on this collection, so I went ahead and I dove right in. Being that I like it or being that I don't like it, I still bought it. We are definitely going to get into this perfume. So this is the packaging pleated glass 80 mil or the perfume so let's get right into so scary Okay, so this Soul Scandal is described as a fruity floral gourmand, which is definitely different than the others in the line. With the original Scandal, which I have right here, this one is a Sheepra floral. It's Sheepra meaning like sharp. When I see Sheepra, it automatically comes to mind that it's gonna be sharp in something. If it's a Sheepra fruity, I know it's gonna be sharp fruits. If it's a Sheepra floral, I know it's gonna be a sharp floral. So this one is a Sheepra floral. So that means a sharp flower, okay? so. This this one is the original one. And next one I do have is Scandal by Night is an oriental floral. So oriental is like rich. So as soon as I see the oriental, so I know it's like a rich flower. So the Scandal by Night is an oriental floral. And lastly, we have Scandal Ah Petit. Scandal Ah Petit is also a sheep rock floral. So that I know is a strong flower. Being that I just love this scent. I know it's a strong flower of jasmine but we will talk about that a little bit later when we're doing a comparison of the newest one. But again, this one is the Scandal Art Petit. This one is a Sheepra Floral. So back to the Scandal, Soul Scandal. This is a Fruity Floral Gourmand. So it's altogether a different classification. And this one, you guys, has notes of raspberry, tuberose, orange blossom, jasmine, and milk accords. So first thing that I noticed, no honey. This is a flanker to this collection. And this collection is known to predominantly have honey. So we're going to go ahead and kick up this scent. The atomizer on this is excellent. That's one thing that I do love about these bottles is that they are excellent with the sprayer. It distributes the fragrance very well. So the wear test. <coughs> so after spraying this, you definitely get a blast of 
raspberry, like thick syrupy raspberry. Like that's the only fruit is raspberry. Then followed by that raspberry, you get tuberose. When I say this is literally a tuberose scent, it's almost like the only thing that's added into this perfume is tuberose and raspberry. Raspberry is so sharp. It's so piercing and sharp. It almost smells like acetone, like the fingernail polish remover. It's that strong. The raspberry is also very heavy and it's almost like sickening heavy, like the flavored hard candy. That's exactly what came to mind after I sprayed this. And also when I sprayed it on my skin, it almost made me sick because it was so strong. I am accustomed to the other scandals where it's really strong. But honey, I was not prepared for what I got when I sprayed this. But one thing I will do is I would definitely give props on it being described as a fruity floral gourmand because it's definitely fruity. The raspberry is there from beginning to end and also the floral of tuberose is definitely there. So you really get that sharp tuberose scent. I'm surprised this isn't a sheep raw floral like the others because of it being so sharp with the tuberose. But it being classified as a fruity floral gourmand, I do see the gourmand quality because it's almost like a hard candy, like the scent of hard candy. The raspberry is so sticky. It's so syrupy. It's almost kind of grapey smelling. So it does transform from it being a raspberry to being a sharp, strong scent of tuberose to it being a raspberry turning into a grape smell. But after you get all those whiffs of that raspberry, this perfume goes left. The floral of tuberose is entirely too strong in this perfume. It's so strong, it's almost carnal. It's very overpowering. What comes to mind when I thought about how strong this tuberose is or was, is Gucci Bloom. If you like Gucci Bloom, you will absolutely love So Scandal. But Gucci Bloom, that tuberose is like headache inducing to me. As you can see where this is going, it's going far left, okay? So right now, I am not a fan of this perfume. There are other florals in this scent, but you really only pick up the tuberose, but you also have Orange Blossom and you have Jasmine. But those two florals are sitting way, way, way in the back. Then after about 20 minutes of spraying this, the scent does kind of tone down just a little bit and you do get that creamy, milkiness, but that was not enough to save the tuberose. The tuberose was way too strong. The raspberry was almost too sticky, too syrupy, like hard candy. And it's almost like this perfume kind of fell flat as far as a base. I really didn't get a base that would help ground it. It was just the raspberry, the tuberose, and then a creamy milkiness at the end. That's what it dried to. That's what it stayed at. And my goodness, it lasted eight plus hours with just one squirt on my skin even after I scrubbed it off yes I had to scrub it off honey even after I scrubbed it off it was still there so I just had to sit and almost cover my nose like this to get away from that perfume but you guys all hope is not lost when it does come to this because I'm pretty sure there are people out there that will love this perfume but for me No ma'am, no thank you. This is a hard pass for me. So as far as my Scandal collection, I'm definitely not going to keep this, okay? She has got to go. But like I said, if you do enjoy the scent of tuberose, like in Gucci Bloom, you will probably like this. So this perfume actually did shock me. It didn't shock me on the scent, but more on what was in the scent, which it's missing a note of honey. This is a flanker to this collection. All three of them does have the note of honey, which I was really, really looking forward to that. You guys, I can't be holding on to perfumes that I know I'm not gonna wear. And I seriously, seriously mean that. So this one would definitely be gone. This one would definitely be in a declutter. Okay, you guys, so this does sum up my overall thoughts on So Scandal. So as of right now, she's a no-go for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have, comment down below and let me know your thoughts on So Scandal and also your thoughts on any of these other flankers. I'm really interested to know how you guys feel about these perfumes. So thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you in my next video.